Don't be fooled by the shoes, the clothes, or the accessories. Just a squeezy bum. These jokers are suiting up for some very serious business. Meet Briarside Hayden, otherwise known as Miss Molly. Simon Conlon, a British actor whose latest role in life is Dr. Ping Pong. Uh, once you do your PhD in cloning, you get a squeezy bum. And Catherine Nietzsche, who transforms into the inquisitive but easily frightened mouse. <laughs> they are just a few of the founding members of Clowns Without Borders Australia. It's completely volunteer. We all volunteer our time to because we're all passionate about it and we all really want to see it take off. Clowns Without Borders travels to war zones, refugee camps and disaster areas to give children a little comic relief. The Australian chapter officially started last year and has already been to some of this region's harshest places. We've done projects in the Northern Territory, uh, going into some really remote Indigenous communities. Uh, we've done a project in working with Clans Without Borders Sweden in Burma, and then most recently this one in the Philippines, working with Clans Without Borders USA. Super Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines last November, with at least 6,000 people killed. It is the deadliest typhoon on record to hit the nation. It was like ground zero. It was just, I mean, yeah, buildings down everywhere and, and, and trees flattened, everything. And, and people living in um, very challenging conditions and tent, tent villages. And so that side of it was intense. The New Zealand native, who now calls Australia home, spent weeks in the disaster zone. They're still very frightened that another typhoon will come. Uh, but at the same time, we're there to bring joy and to bring laughter and excitement and fun. So there's that other side to Clowns Without Borders where you see it but, and you recognise it and acknowledge it, but you're there to bring life and to bring joy. But not every joker with a few skills has the right to join Clowns Without Borders. Each of the clowns here have spent years in the performing arts, perfecting their craft. And not only do they have to entertain traumatised children who may not speak English, they also have to teach. Clowns Without Borders is usually invited to go to an area in need by other organisations trying to address an issue. At a time of life when most other people might be thinking of slowing down, I have now find myself trying to develop new skills. Catherine Nisha has decades of experience as an aerialist. She's worked in Bollywood and teaches the craft at Australia's National Institute of Circus Arts. A clown offers unconditional love and um, is just completely there to um, respond to that child. Um, if, it's a, if it's a hug, if it's a smile, um, if it's a little, a little wink or a nod, um, I think it's someone who's just there 100% for them. Okay, go, 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 sneaky, sneaky. Oh, like... Simon Conlon's day job helps him hone the ability to teach so without preaching. And jump up and say your name, Simon. He helps run classes at the West Side Circus in Inner Melbourne, teaching young Australians the importance of silliness. Hold on to your knees, rock backwards and jump up again. There are rules within climbing that are really good rules for life that, that can encourage you to, to be a little bit more open to other people and have a little bit more fun. And armed with those abilities and attitude, Clowns Without Borders Australia has big plans for their next act. More projects, uh, more projects within Australia. I really want to see us go into a lot more countries doing a lot more projects because there's so much need. There's so many places that Clowns Without Borders hasn't been yet. Bringing the joy and the laughter. Wow.